Hi everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with Everyday Counts program here on the North Shore. So today we have an hour together for yoga. So make sure you have everything that you could possibly need for your yoga class. If you want to use any props, please have them handy or anything for relaxation at the end. And I'm going to be using a bolster for the um, second half. So you might need something like a folded pillow, a um, folded blanket, something like that, um, or not. And the choice is yours. So come to a comfortable seat and that may be seated in a chair for your comfort or you may want to sit up on something like I am or just sit directly on the floor. It really doesn't matter. We're just starting to settle into this moment. So feel free to take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Uh -huh. Another couple of those. You're welcome to close your eyes or lower your gaze. And as you can see, I'm not in the Everyday Counts building. That's because there's some construction work going on outside. So I will be back there next week. Settling back in to this moment. And maybe if you have your eyes closed or soft gaze, just simply notice the space that you're in how it feels, notice the sounds, get comfortable and familiar with the sounds. You may have sounds from my side as well. And notice that support underneath your body and notice all the places that your body is supported. And allow your body to sink into that so you can allow your muscles to soften, tension to dissolve somewhat. And notice how you feel in this moment. Notice if you've got a lot on your mind, a lot of emotions present. Notice how your body feels, if there is particular places you need to be very mindful of today as you move. And also notice the places in your body that feel good, that feel fluid, that feel easy, that feel quiet. Rooting down into that support and from there, there's a rising up through the spine. And as if from our pelvic floor all the way to the tips of our shoulders, there's this inverted triangle. Imagine as if you could just allow that triangle to get just a millimeter bigger in every way. So we're lengthening, we're broadening through the collarbones. Reaching up through the crown of the head. Noticing if you need to shift your shoulders more forward or more back to bring them closer over your hips or closer to a more comfortable place for you. No right and wrong way. We're all put together differently and you're not here to follow along with everything I say. You're here to listen to me about five or 10% of the time and decide for you whether that's right or not. And give yourself permission to change things, permission to adapt things for your own experience today. And then we'll tune into our breath. And a great way to do that is to soften the gaze or close your eyes. starting to notice the regular rhythm of your own breath. Allowing yourself to allow that breath to get a little longer if that feels okay for you. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose. But again, everything here gets to be changed for your own needs.
just starting to listen to the sound of your breath as it comes in and as it comes out. And starting to smooth the breath out so that sound of the breath coming in and out starts to feel a little more fluid. So there are less places where it feels choppy or chunky. Mm -hmm. Listening to the sound of that breath. And you might notice that that breath coming in and out sounds a little bit like a breeze in the trees, the leaves on a tree, or like the ocean waves coming in and out on a beach. You can even imagine that, that gentle, steady rhythm that never changes. following the breath in and out. And that's the breath we'll keep today, but I want you to let go of any forcing of the breath so it becomes easier. Easier and smoother. And we root to rise. And from there, this is the inhale and the exhale. We'll take the right ear down towards the right shoulder. Inhale to center, left ear, left shoulder. And we're just gonna go back and forth. Noticing how you experience this in your body. If you can change the movement to feel a little more easeful and more comfortable for you, maybe by dipping the chin down or lifting the chin. We all have different parts of our body that need our awareness to go there. Listen to the sound of the breath. And let the breath inform the movement. The next time we come back to center, we'll stay on the inhale, drawing the chin up any amount. Exhale, chin comes down towards your chest. Again, that inverted triangle from the tips of your shoulders down to your pubic bone, down to the pelvic floor, allowing for as wide a triangle as feels comfortable for you. So we're lengthening through the torso and through the width as well. Next time the chin comes down towards the chest, we'll keep it there, three breaths allowing your breath to be steady. But again, that inverted triangle staying wide and long and tall. The end of the next exhale, bringing the crown of the head up. Left hand coming down to support. You can bring the floor up to you by bringing a block. Right palm turns up from the elbow. We inhale up, exhale down. Adding on from the shoulder, using that left hand for support. If that right hand comes up and overhead, so you have support of your torso. Noticing how this feels in your body, making that change in the movement so it feels more comfortable, more manageable for you. Mm -hmm. 
we got one more to go here. And then coming to the other side. So those right fingertips come down to the earth again. If you need to bring the earth to you, go ahead. Left palm out, inhaling up, exhaling down. Option to move from the shoulder as low or as high as you like. And those right fingertips are there as the left hand, if it comes overhead to support the movement, support the torso. Steady and smooth, no momentum involved. Allowing yourself to feel the breath as you're moved through the full shape, whatever that may be. Got one more to go. Always resting early if you prefer to. Mm -hmm. And wherever you are, we're going to take our hands towards the knees and from there, circling. And if you're seated on something, like I am, it may feel easier for you to not be seated on something. And these are Sufi rolls here, Sufi grind. So we're just gonna go around in the circle, use your hands to support you. These movements can be big, can be small. If you're in the chair, you might wanna extend your um, feet out a little further if that feels better for you. And again, we're trying to look at the for the fluidity here. Keep that breath in your awareness, the steady sound of the breath. And when you're ready, we're gonna come around in the opposite direction. Waking up all the muscles that hold up our spine as we come into some strengthening and stabilizing in a moment. Mm -hmm. Another couple here, you can always rest. And then we're gonna come all the way back to center. From here, coming over onto a tabletop position. So if you need any softness, just gonna put my hair up. If you need any blankets or um, rolled towels or folded towels underneath your knees to feel more comfortable for you, please go ahead. Otherwise, coming over onto hands and knees. Hands are at least shoulder width apart and you take your knees um, at a comfortable distance too. Toes tucked or untucked, your choice. You draw the belly in towards the spine. Push through the hands and lift the back of the heart. If you want to come down onto forearms because that's more comfortable for you, you can always do that. And then the head is neutral so you're looking towards the front of your mat. Come back to the steadiness of the breath, the steadiness of the sound of the breath. And on the next exhale, or when you're ready, push into your hands and knees and round the back body up towards the sky. You can even draw your chin in any amount. And on the inhale, the belly comes down, lifting through the sit bones, through the collarbones, and lifting through the gaze. Now, this is going to be different for each and every one of us. This can be a tiny movement, a big movement, but what we're looking for is the steadiness of the movement with that breath, the sound of the breath all the way in and all the way out. Noticing if you need to change things, adapt things, move things, shift things around for it to feel more comfortable for you. Mm-hmm. And then when you're ready, coming back to a central place. And from here, we're gonna draw those knees in towards each other to give you yourself a little bit more stability. We're gonna extend the right leg out, all the way out behind you. Pad that left knee if you need to. And then just rocking forward and back, waking up the back of that extended leg. Pushing through the heel on that exhale. And again, forearms are always there if you want to. Option to stay here. Option next time the shoulders come over the wrists to stay. 
Belly's drawn in, we're still pushing through the hands to lift through the back of the heart and the gaze is neutral. Inhaling, lifting up through the foot, extending through the heel, exhaling down. Keeping the hip tips facing towards the earth. So we're not twisting open, really keeping that neutral spine. The heel is not gonna come any further than the hip because then we get to arch into the back and have to make other adjustments for that to happen. So keeping that length here, inhaling and exhaling. Great place to stay right here. Keeping that leg, my, my um, pants are baggy, but keeping that leg as straight and as strong as you possibly can. From there, your option is to extend out the left arm. As we come up, option to stay, steady breath, adding on, this is the inhale, toes down or up, your choice, exhale, knee comes in, elbow towards knee if the arm is extended, inhaling and exhaling, curling in, pushing through your hand and knee to round through the back, chin draws in, inhaling, Exhaling. Three more. And when you're ready, extend the leg out once more and bring the hands down. Now from here, we're going to kick start that left foot out towards the back, towards the left side. Left hand comes underneath the shoulder and we're coming right up onto the right fingertips. Take the right heel down. Option to stay here, option to extend up through the right arm. Exhale, coming down. So we're opening up through the collarbones, that arm can even come back behind us. Option to stay here, option to extend and stay. Option to draw the right hand over the right ear and reach towards the top of your mat. And the last add-on here is hovering the right foot. Steady and smooth breath, extending through the fingertips, through the sole of the foot on the right side, staying for the last breath, right foot comes down, right hand turns down and we're back to that extended leg, right foot moves in, cat and cow. And then from here, we're extending the left leg out, toes to the floor. Pushing and pulling, if you want to pulse through the movement, always coming down to forearms if you prefer. Waking up the back of the left leg. Pad that right knee if you need to, or it feels more comfortable. And then we're coming back to center. Option to stay here. Option to lift and lower. Belly still drawn in, back of the heart lifted and making sure that the hip tips are facing the mat. We're not opening up through the hip so that left hip is rolled down. No higher than hip height. And again, that my, it looks baggy here, but keeping that leg as long and as straight as you can, pushing through the heel. Option to stay here option to hover and stay, option to extend out through the right arm. The right armpit lifts, but the left hip lifts too. This is the inhale, exhale, option. Elbow comes in towards the knee, rambling through the back body. Inhale, extending. With your breath, steady and smooth, Two more.
Right hand comes down, left leg extends to the floor. That right knee taps back behind you towards the right. Right hand extends underneath the shoulder and we come up onto the left fingertips as the left heel comes down. So we're opening all the way up to the left side. Great place to be right here. Adding on, inhaling, extending up towards the sky, exhaling, tapping down. Option to take that left hand a little bit back behind you. Option, next time it comes out, to stay. So we're reaching wide through the collarbones. And the next option is to take that left hand over the left ear and extend. Everything's opened up to the left side. Now your last add-on here is to extend through the left leg, pushing through the heel, reaching through the top fingertips and steady breath. Three breaths here. Mm -hmm. Always coming out early if you need to. Last breath here. Left foot comes down, left fingertips as we turn around. Back to tabletop and cat and cow. Noticing how that feels in your body after all that movement. Taking a little bit of a rest here. Knees can come towards each other or stay wide. Untuck the toes. If they're tucked, big toes come towards each other. Take a bolster under your seat if coming back towards your heels feels like a whole lot. You can stay here and modify child's pose. Forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms. Take a block underneath your head. Anything that feels good. You can stay in stillness, or you can rock and roll a little bit from side to side if your joints feel comfortable doing that. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add on, we'll take those fingers out in front of you, forearms lift off the mat. And we'll walk those fingertips to one side, drawing the opposite hip back so we get the length along the side of the body, which we just opened up. And then walking the fingertips to center and over to the other side, opposite hip shifts to the other side. So we get that length, that connection down through the side of the body. And when you're ready, coming back to center. You can stay here for as long as you like. We're going to come up a little more and use that stabilization through the core for another purpose. So from here, we're going to draw that right foot forward, give it a little help if you need to. I'm going to come forward so you can see. Pad the left knee. Tuck or untuck the toes, whatever feels comfortable for you. We're taking the hands up towards the thigh and we're coming all the way up. So readjust yourself. You have to um, play around a little bit and adjust the foundation underneath you. Hands resting on that thigh, coming forward and back, always adjusting the width, the length of your stance. There's no right and wrong way to do this here. And then come to a place that it feels stable between the two. So before, between that forward motion and the back motion, where that left leg is more or less hard, uh, vertical, and then readjust your pelvis here. So you might notice that one hip is elevated. So coming to that place that feels comfortable, that feels stable, really rooting down into the stability underneath you. Drawing in through the center line, lifting up through the crown of the head. 
picking a place in front of you where you can fix your gaze and come back to the sound of that steady breath, that ocean breath as it comes in and out. Option to stay here, option to take the hands to the hips and that's going to be a little more challenging for you. Really get connected to the core center line of the body here, rooting through the foundation to lift up from there. And your last add on here is to lift up through the right heel. So it's up off the floor, maybe a little bit. So people could come and slip a piece of paper underneath, maybe just in your imagination or lifting up from there through the heel. So we've got less of a foundation on the right foot. Get as stable as you can here and readjust little tiny micro adjustments in the body so you do feel more stable. Option to take the arms up overhead. So if you're holding a big basketball, you can take cactus arms, you can take a basketball above you, a beach ball as big as you like, and we're stable and steady with the breath. You've got another three breaths here, wherever you choose to be. Option for the last two is to soften or close your eyes, to really root down through the stability. You might feel that as less st stable. If your eyes are closed, blink them open, take that right heel down. Hands come down to the inside of that right leg. And then we're sweeping that right leg round and back, cat and cow. Same thing, other side here, patting that right knee, drawing the left foot forward, give it a little help if you need to. Once you have that, play around with where you want your foundation to be. Hands come up onto the thigh and up we come. From here, drawing the pelvis forward and back, that's going to give you a really good idea of what you need to change if you need to change anything, noticing how you feel this and where you feel this in your body. And from there, coming to a central place, rooting down through that left thigh, lifting up from there, everything coming together, noticing if one hip is higher than the other and see if you can even that out. Notice if the shoulders are forward over the hips, that inverted triangle that we talked about widen through everything. Keeping the gaze fixed, steady, breath, those ocean breaths coming in and out, or the sound of your breath. Allow it to be stable and steady. Option to take the hands into the hips. And your last option here, if you feel comfortable, is to lift up through that left heel any amount. And if you need to readjust your foundation for that to happen, go ahead. playing with our foundation and finding stability and strength from there. Steady the breath, listen to the sound of your breath. And if it's there for you, option to soften the gaze, close the eyes, tune into your foundation, lift from there, that inverted triangle bringing you wide and tall. Stay for the loss of breath, lift the eyes open, take that heel down, and then when you're actually, let's take it all the way up again. I completely forgot. Arms come up as your last option overhead. You've got three breaths wherever you are. Again, the option to soften your gaze, close your eyes, adjust things so it feels better for you. Heel comes down, hands come down if they were lifted. And then the hands come all the way down to the inside of that left foot, sweep the left foot round and back. And here we are, cat and cow. Any other movements that feel good to you here, go ahead. And then when you're ready, we're coming all the way back down to the earth and as I said earlier, 
might want to bolster handy I'm going to use that in a bit but we're going to continue stabilizing through the body so come down onto the earth knees to the sky feet to the floor adjust yourself as you need to if you need any extra softness under your back body please go ahead and take what it is that you need here Feet are a comfortable distance apart for you and we're all put together differently so that's going to look different for each of us, no big deal. We're going to take our arms into robot arms, so elbows come in towards the ribs and our triceps, the back of our upper arms are reaching down and connected to the earth, fingertips are reaching up towards the sky. Readjust your feet so you feel stable here. And imagine your spine from kind of the top of your shoulders all the way down towards your pelvis in one long line, pushing down through the heels with your breath. We're going to lift up through the spine. You can use your triceps to help you. Exhaling down in one line, inhaling and exhaling. We're not interested in how high those hips come but what we want is a stable and steady movement noticing if any part of your foot seems light maybe the inner foot the outer foot the toes the heel and see if you can even that movement or that connection through the feet and you'll find more stability coming with that lifting and lowering as you do that we're not glancing to the side here, keeping the neck nice and neutral. Great place to stay right here. Option, next time we come up to stay. And again, we're not interested in taking the hips as high as possible. We want to stay at a place, the triceps rooting down where you feel like you can be stable, you can sustain it and the breath is steady. from here, rooting down through that left foot that's not moving. We've already been here today on an inhale, we're gonna lift up through the right heel. Maybe just a little, maybe a lot. Notice what's happening in your pelvis. On an exhale, we're gonna take that down. Inhale, lifting it up. So get really connected down through that left foot and keep that stability through the pelvis through the core of the body mm -hmm. next time that heel comes up with those connections down through the tricep option to stay option to hover the whole right foot stability through the pelvis you can tap up and tap down keeping the pelvis as stable as possible next option is to lift and hold push through the left leg you can extend that right leg up towards the sky, push through the left foot evenly, stay for another two breaths. And on the exhale, right foot comes down, heel comes down. And on an exhale, you're taking the pelvis down, allow the palms to come to the side, take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Three more breaths like that, using the support underneath you. Notice where in your body you are holding that stability and if it was even. Okay. Same thing, other side. And if you want to take more of a break, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, elbows come in towards the ribs and the triceps push down. Fingertips reaching up towards the sky. Collarbones are wide, so the shoulders, back of the head are nice and stable, including the back of the arms. Root down through both feet, and if you need to adjust anything, then go ahead. You know the drill, we're going the opposite side. Push in through the feet. On the inhale, we're lifting through the pelvis, exhaling down. 
And what we want is not the height here, we want the stability. As you're doing this up and down, notice where you're not connecting down through your feet. Heel, inside of the foot, outside of the foot, the ball of the foot, the toes and see if you can anchor the feet down as steady and as stable as you can. And this might be a great place for you to stay. The breath is still the ocean breath. You lose the breath, we come back to stillness, find the breath and move from there. Next option is to lift through the hips. Again, it doesn't have to be high. What it needs to be is stable. We're rooting down through those triceps. This can be a great place to stay too. Keep the breath steady. Notice the angle where the pelvis is. If it's shifted to one side or another, notice where you're rooting into your feet. Get connected down and through the triceps too. Option here, lift the left heel, exhale, take it down. Doesn't have to come very high. Just notice as you do this, if a lot is shifting in your body. And if it is, then come back to keeping the feet connected down to the earth and stabilize yourself, maybe even coming up and down. If you want to add on, keep the heel up, and notice everything here. Notice where you feel the stability coming from. The breath is the same steadiness of breath. And the option is to get connected down through that right foot evenly as we lift up, maybe tapping up and down through the left leg. And then the option is here to draw the left knee in, even extend the left leg out. You've got three breaths here, wherever you are. Find the stability of the breath, the connection downwards, especially through that right foot evenly. On the last exhale, the left foot comes down, exhaling, taking everything down. Palms come to the side, widen through the collarbones, allow yourself to be supported here. Take a big breath in, exhale it out, steady and slow. Three breaths like that, soften your gaze, close your eyes, you can even take your knees towards each other, heels wide. Last one. Nice. And then from here, we're gonna bring ourselves over onto one side, the right side. And this is where that bolster can be super handy, bringing it back behind you. Snuggling it into your pelvis so the knees are stacked on top of each other, ankles are stacked about a 45 degree angle away from the body or a comfortable angle for you, but that is connected into the back body. So it'll give you feedback if you start to um, roll back with your pelvis because you want the pelvis to be neutral. You can take anything underneath your head to be supportive or I like to have my hand underneath my head but that's just me. Feet are uh, a little flex in those ankles. If you need any softness underneath that bottom hip, take it now, put a towel, a couple of towels underneath there, a blanket underneath your entire torso, anything you need here. Top hand is in front of you to stop you from rolling forward and the collarbones are wide. Inhale. Knee lifts, top knee lifts, exhale, taking it down. Steady and smooth. So we're moving all the way through the core, also with the um, bridges lifting up, especially through the glutes. And now we're getting into the glute medius. This is the muscle that holds the pelvis together along with the pelvic floor, and it's often forgotten about. So what's happening with these clamshells is we're opening the knee up, but we're not rolling the pelvis back. 
In fact, if you take your hand to your um, pelvis, you'll notice that if you hold it there, we're keeping the pelvis steady. And if you take it up further, you'll notice the pelvis rolling back. So we're coming to the place where we can stay stable and steady. Mm -hmm. Another two here or resting. You might even start to notice the glute medius starting to work hard. And then we'll take the knees down towards each other. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out, nice and steady and smooth, beautiful. We're taking the knees in towards each other, keeping them there. This time we're lifting up through the right ankle, or left ankle, sorry, lifting it up, exhaling down. So we've got some internal rotation here. In fact, if you take your hand to that knee, you'll notice the femur bone rolling in, but not so much that the hip uh, the um, pelvis is shifting. It really is coming from that um, ball and socket joint. Mm -hmm. And again, strengthening through the pelvis, giving us, we strengthen through the pelvis. It is the um, very center of our body. Keep the pelvis steady. We keep ourselves a whole lot steadier too. Okay. And we take the ankle down, take a big breath in. Exhale, relax. Mm -hmm. Option to take any one of those again, or it's going to go a little quicker now. So we've got two movements per breath. Inhale, knee, ankle. Exhale, ankle, knee. So there's a little still internal rotation there from the femur bone. We come up, external rotation, and then we've got internal rotation somewhat from the ankle coming up. And this is where the glute medius has to work a whole lot harder, keeping that steady and smooth. Now the exhale, the letting everything down needs to be just as smooth and steady as the inhale. Mm -hmm. Got another three to go or resting if you need to or doing every other one or doing a whole lot more, your choice. taking the knee and ankle down. You can even take the heel of the hand and massage into wherever it is that you're feeling. From here, we take our head down if it was um, supported like that. We've got the bolster supporting us from the back, keeping everything in line. The pelvis is not shifting here. What we're gonna do is slide that top arm back and it's gonna meet the bolster behind us. Great place to stay right there. Hand on the waist or the hip, you can start to slide that back. Now from here, it's a little bit of shimmying. So maybe you wanna slide the right shoulder forward as you bring that left shoulder back. Option to stay here, option to open out through that left arm. And that bolster is keeping our pelvis from shifting too far back. Opening up through, especially through that left arm. Gaze can come over that left arm if you like. And we're taking a big breath in. Exhaling it out, taking a passive twist here through the spine. Making any adjustments you need to, if there's any other twist you prefer to take, please go ahead. And you can make a note of making sure those knees do not shear so the top knee doesn't come back or if it shifts a little bit and that makes it more comfortable for you, you get to decide it's your yoga class. Another couple of breaths here and you can stay here for as long as you like. Again, that bolster, that rolled towel, rolled blanket behind you or pillow is helping support you. When you're ready, the top hand comes back to the bolster or to your hip. Gaze comes um, same line as your knees and then we slide the hand forward and just stay here for a moment, maybe that bicep supporting you. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. 
Uh -huh. And now we're going to do the same thing. So if you've got that bolster or support behind you, you can keep it there. And as I'm going to do, just flip yourself so your head is um, now your um, feet are. Or you can shift that to the other side. Knees come to center and then shift into the other side. But I'm not going to be able to see you. So I'm going to come to the other side. So this time left hip is down. You may notice you need, might need more support on this side. That bolster is coming, connecting back into you. Mm -hmm. Top hand supporting you so you don't roll forward. Again, we want the pelvis to be facing forward, knees and ankles stacked over each other at the angle that suits you. On the inhale, taking the knee up without rolling the pelvis back. So that can take a few moments to figure out where that is. It's usually not much um, more different from the height of the hip itself. But we're all different. So it might be less, it might be a whole lot more. There's no right and wrong here. But just notice you can take your hand on your pelvis so you can scoot it through that hip and just make sure that the pelvis is not moving it really is just coming from the femur bone there nice steady and smooth that exhale is just as important as the lifting of the inhale mm -hmm. steady and smooth with the sound of the breath another two here Last one, nicely done. From here, knees and ankles stacked over each other and knees stay connected on the inhale, lifting up through the right heel. We've got that internal rotation here, not so much we're shifting forward with the pelvis. This movement is coming from the hip joint. So notice if your pelvis is getting involved more is not better here. We're just trying to really connect in with that glute medius again, that muscle that brings the pelvis together along with the pelvic floor. Stable through the pelvis, stable through the whole of the body. The pelvis ricochets, the, the sta stabilization ricochets up through your posture. We've got two more here and down through your knees, ankles, and feet, and of course the hips. Okay, exhaling it out. Mm -hmm. Take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. Now you've got a few options here. You can do the two previous ones, or it's getting a little quicker, two movements to every breath. Inhaling, knee, and then ankle. So there's a little pivot there. Exhale, ankle knee and again take your hands on the pelvis make sure that the pelvis is stable and the movement is coming from the right hip and leg mm -hmm. and if you're not used to these it can be pretty hard work so take rests when you need to every other one take a breath anything you need that exhale is just as important as the inhale. That's where the strength comes into the glute med. In fact, if you try and slow down that exhale, you can notice that there's a whole lot more work that is needed. We've got another two, more or less, depending on when you took breaks. Listen to the sound of that breath. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we're doing that same twist. So connecting into that support. You can take your head down, a pillow, anything you need here. And from here, keeping those knees connected, sliding that right elbow back and maybe keep that hand on your hip or your waist. And that's all that you need option to take that right hand back behind you. A little bit of shimmying involved here. You can release that left hand down. 
allow that support to keep the knees over each other more or less, or maybe there's some shift in the pelvis, whatever feels better for you. And the option is to take the gaze over the back shoulder, depending on how that feels. Taking some nice full breaths here, steady and smooth. And then when you're ready, the gaze comes to center as that top hand comes to the waist or the hip, supported elbow on that bolster if it's not already there. And then we're rolling ourselves forward. So we're on our side. Now the option is to stay here or using that support underneath you, coming into some kind of relaxation that suits you, that bolster or blanket underneath your um, back of your thighs or your knees to help relieve the lower back. Any kind of relaxation that feels good for you. There's not a right or wrong way to be here, so you take what it is that you need Taking extra pillows, eye pillows, anything you want here. Maybe you want to open a window for fresh air. You want to put an extra layer on. It's up to you. But as you get settled into your relaxation, and that can be on your back, on your side, you can be on your belly, you can be seated in a chair or on a recliner. It really does not matter. Your choice. As you do that, I'm coming up. taking a big breath in when you're ready and settled. Exhaling that out long and steady like you are just releasing from a long day into bed. Another few breaths just like that, allowing your body to release as much tension as possible. Settling down now into that support underneath you. Allowing your body to really be supported and soften, fully soften as best as you can into all those surfaces underneath you. And you let the breath go entirely also let the thoughts go too. Allow your thoughts to simply come and go. Imagine a pale blue sky with the fluffy clouds, the thoughts shifting across the sky as you watch them go, no attachment. Letting go of stories, of observations, of judgments. Any last little bits of tension, releasing and letting go as best as you can. Tuning into the sound of your breath here, the soft sound of the breath, the ocean breath, the breeze of the breath.
can stay here for as long as you like. Tuning my voice out, staying in your relaxation. Now starting to just connect down to that support underneath you, the different surfaces there are. Tuning back into your breath. And with that more mindful breath, allowing movement to come into your body in a lazy, slow manner. Taking your time and over the next few moments, and coming to a place where you would like to finish your practice. And that can be exactly where you are. Finding that support underneath you and taking your hands in a gesture of closing, whatever that may be. A big breath in. Exhaling it out. Chin down towards your chest. And take a moment here to notice how you feel. Thank yourself for your practice. I thank each and every one of you for being here. Namaste.